Uh, I'm just going up to have a look in. Um, might be looking at the crack in the state or something. And if it is, that's not a good advert for Wassel alternators, is it? Hmm. Right, let's go in and have a look. Right, I'm going to yeah, take my pipes off first. So... a bit of slackening Yes, I'm going to be very disappointed if it's the old Right, <laughs> memory card got full. Uh, what was I on about? I've just taken this bolt out of the front stay. Oh yeah, I'm going to be very disappointed if it is her alternator. Because I reckon I've done about, since I put them on, the alternator and the pods, I reckon I've probably done about 10, mm, 10 11 thou thousand miles so yeah it, well we'll just have to go in and have a look see uh, doing a lot of guessing at the minute so <coughs> anyway um slacking that off slacking the front stay off Um, I've slackened that well off. And now... Oh, good one. <laughs> I'll have to throw a bit of that off, I must admit. Yeah. Well, it doesn't hold up the state of tune much. Well, I could do some form of rust proofing on the backs. Uh, yeah, right, where was I? No, the footrest. No, no, front pipe. an oil round there. Yeah, it's starting to show signs of needing rebores. Why well, usually use a three quarter here for 19 mil in this. <coughs> Crank ring key. You can just get round the back on the nut on the back. That. <coughs> I 
than I have at one time. Put a sort of screwdriver slot in the end of the bolt. That actually screw it in once it's slack. And it's quite handy for screwing it back on, I suppose. Extra spring on that. See what I was doing there. Oh. Just try and put a zoom instead of moving the camera. Um, I'm doing a great rod. Uh, this allowed it to break to drop out the way. Go all the way off, but uh, it's dropped out, and then obviously, when you drop the brake rod out, everything drops forward. There's the footrest off. And then just to keep the brake out the way, put it about there. around here, see where my leaks are coming from. I <sighs> can't see much. Right, so a lot of it's chain lube. That's link life for you. Good stuff. Um, and I think this gasket's weeping a bit. Couple of thousand mile, man. Excellent. So, right. Yeah, most of that's chain lube. Definitely. Could do with a good clean under there. One day. And just normal really. It's Start just literally slacking everything off a turn.
I'm trying to think, have I had the primary care shop? I think I have had it off. I thought, are hey, you just doing primary chain? Or it's because it's starting to make noises now. Well, more noises than it used to make. But she still starts first kick. Goes like shit off a stick. Um. I mean, when I went to Wales, 700 miler, round trip, didn't miss a beat. A couple of ordinary washers and a couple of copper washers makes a nice seat. A couple of knocks. Being careful not to bruise the alloy, obviously. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, I haven't. As you notice. Makes a big difference if you don't trim stuff off. Makes it look tatty. So I have had it off. Nice, not to see where it's stuck. big this one could do with the normal axle blade There's crap in there I don't like. That's fucked. Yeah, it's probably where most of my noise is from. What the fucking cracks in this? Point of a screwdriver. Looks like it's burst there. Well, it is. Crack there. It's cracked straight across there. back that crap mr. Wassel well mr. Wassel I'm upset with you
screwdriver. Just take them chalky blocks off. Why I should pull through the rope. Pull all my silicon out now. Silicon and string. Quite good. It works. Certainly stops you getting that puddle at the back. Now oh, I might have to move the camera. And that. Look at this. That's fucking carbonized. That looks like it's being fucking welded in there. Look at this. And them tight spots are where the where it the um, encapsulations moved. We'll have a better look at that. Well, I hope the magnet's better quality than that. Well, it'll have to do. Um, well, I've got one option, hopefully. I've got a choice. I've got a fatten <laughs> and a thin one. Uh, something like that. Anyway, I'm putting the fat on. It's been on. In fact, it was probably the last one I had on. Oh. Make sure the holes are nice. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'll be putting a file through them. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, right. Now I'm positioning. I might have to move the camera so I can get in. Can't get it off now. <laughs> I'm just going to run a file through them holes. Oh yeah, that one especially. Right, I've literally just run a file through the three holes that the studs are going on. Still got to go on dead square like. That's not bad, and it certainly fits in, and because it fits in, it's going on. Uh, right, I haven't put my cardboard around this time, so yeah, uh, let's see how bad it is. A bit rough when you have to go back to a 40 year old state because a modern one is shite. Yeah, you gotta laugh. Because as far as I'm concerned now, when I felt the difference in the strength of the magnets, I think I only wanted a rotor. Well, this will prove I only wanted a rotor.
Oily hands on a shiny extension top. Feeling gauges. Uh, where to put them? Well, that's good enough for me, don't they? Here's me, uh, mouse poo. I've just, I've just left a feeling gauge in where it was a bit tighter than all the rest. Perfect. I don't know whether we can see I'm using an extension. I'm only literally using a couple of fingers to talk. Not yucking on them. Feel them, they sort of go solid. If you just do it slow, they just end up where they won't move. <laughs> Without being stripped. Right. Put my wire in. I could fire it up and see if I charge. That'd work, wouldn't it? Oh, it's going to charge. I'm going to fill it with silicon. <laughs> Just had some thunder. Yeah. Makes that go one day. The Benji or Rama. A two stroke. That's the cylinder bore. See, solid. Been out here years, paid a ten for it. Yeah, condensation, and I do long rides. I wonder what the flashing is. That last lot's probably all out of focus. I had it on macro. Ominous. I don't know how much rain has got on my limbs, plenty on the back. Yeah, well, 
another great day for motorcycling I'm going to wire this alternator up and see what AC voltage it gives out that's having the right toddle down <laughs> Fucking hell. That's going to cause some flooding. That's a terrain. Well, summer's day in Britain or England as I like to call it. Back in hell. I think yeah, we'll be floating. Don't think the drains are coping. I'm going to go and have to have a look. That's way soft to the skin. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Well, we'll have five minutes of rain. The rain is just coping, thank goodness. This will make the groundwater rise. Oh well, that'll do with that. Looks like it's clear enough. As you said, it's clear enough, it's just thundered. Oh no, no, I put me bloody. Chocolate blocks down again. Too excited about the rain. Chalky blocks. Right, hang on, I'm going out to find. No, oh, where else would they be? But near the kettle, near the screwdriver. Not much why you're hanging out with them, Lee. All I need is a connection. <laughs> 